What is going on everyone? Let's talk about jobs that will get you killed, injured, or maimed most often in the United States. Every year, different organizations, including the Department of Labor and Statistics, publish reports on what jobs are the most dangerous in the United States. I read a couple of the reports and it was eye-opening. And before you ask, Llama Wrangler is not on the list. Probably should be. While going over the numbers, I was surprised some jobs I was sure would be on this list weren't, while others that I had no idea were dangerous, turns out they're extremely dangerous. We'll be ranking these jobs by how many deaths per every 100,000 full-time workers they have. I'll give you some of the numbers of some that didn't make the list that most of you probably think should be on the list right before we get to number one on this video. We will be using the 2019 numbers because as we all know, 2020 was just weird and the numbers won't paint an accurate picture because so many people didn't work or work from home or something else went on in 2020. A lot of the industries have really strange numbers compared to normal years. All right, let's take a look. Number 10, landscaping and groundkeeping workers. You heard me right, your gardener may be living on borrowed time. Landscaping can be dangerous, but it's not a possessed weed whacker that's doing these guys in. It's the transportation. Driving from job to job, I guess, can get hazardous when you're driving a pickup with five other dudes and the back of the truck is filled with sharp tools and gasoline. In 2019, they had a total of 144 deaths and about 2,000 non-fatal injuries, and that gives their fatal injuries per 100,000 full-time workers 20.2. Number nine construction trades and extraction workers. So this one kind of surprised me in a couple ways. I thought construction workers were, you know, dropping off all the time. Well, as you'll find out in a minute, they get a lot of injuries, but they're not killed as much as you might think. Construction trades include things like framers, masons, carpenters, things like that. Oddly enough, one that I thought would be in that is not. It's actually got its own category. We'll learn about that later on. Number of full-time workers in 2019 was about 600,000. They had a total of 144 fatalities and their fatal injuries per 100,000 full-time workers was 21. Like I said, I thought that one would have a lot more, but their injuries, they had over 5,300. That's reported. You know, a lot of those dudes lost half a finger and just, you know, put a bandage on it and went back to work the next day. Number eight, iron and steel worker, structural types. If you don't know what that is, the most notable one is the guys that put skyscrapers together. You know, there used to be pictures of them in the 1940s and 50s when they used to build big high rises. Guys walking on these beams and it was, it's a crazy job. I don't think you could do it if you're the slightest bit afraid of heights. Obviously it's gotten better over the years. Back in the 50s and 60s, they were losing dudes every week, but it's still dangerous to this day. And that's just one aspect of that industry. There's a bunch of other things that go into this. All in all, it's a pretty dangerous job. The most common fatal accident in this industry is falls and these guys fall from pretty good height too Can you imagine working on a high rise and falling all the way down to the bottom they might have to dig you out of the parking lot in 2019 there was only 15 fatalities that brings their fatal injuries per 100,000 full-time workers to 23.6 number seven farm and ranch workers Ranching and farming are not as easy or safe as it looks in the movies and in TV. Now, I say that and I hope I didn't ruin anything for anyone, but I hope we all know Green Acres and Bonanza were fake. We all know that, right? All right, moving on. Like so many other industries, the number one way farmers and ranch hands kick the oxygen habit is transportation. Getting out on the open road with whatever you're delivering, whatever you're moving, you get in accidents and people die. It's sad, but that's what happens. And they had about 258 fatal injuries, giving them 24.7 fatalities for every 100,000 full-time workers. Number six, drivers, delivery, taxi, and truck drivers. People behind the wheel have always been seconds away from death. We all are when we get on the road. As we've seen already, most of the dangerous jobs lose the most while transporting things like livestock and equipment. Well, people that transport us, our frozen food, and our Amazon orders are going to the afterlife at an alarming number. And they lost 966 drivers on the road in 2019. That means 26 people died for every 100,000 full-time drivers. And as you can imagine, the most common fatal accident is transportation incidents. And their non-fatal injuries is pretty high too. It's almost 80,000. It's 78,520. I'm sure that would be a lot higher if we didn't have things like seatbelt laws, airbags, things of that nature. Number five, 
garbage and recycle collectors. Yep, garbage men are getting croaked on the job. And guess how it's happening? Yeah, transportation incidents. Imagine that. I find that one kind of strange because, you know, they really, they just go like 20 feet and another 20 feet. It's not like they're on the highway very often doing like 75 miles an hour. But I guess intersections, stuff like that can be deadly, especially most of them don't have doors. I wonder how many get knocked out of the, the truck. We had a garbage man at my house when I was growing up, the same one all the time for years. Back then you used to, you know, you'd get a guy like that or like a mailman and they'd be the same one for years. Well, our guy had broke his knee or his leg or something like that. And he was off work for a couple months. Then when he came back to work, he's only back to work for like three weeks and he like broke his wrist. That guy had some bad luck. Anyway, apparently a lot of them are having bad luck because a lot of them are dying. And they had 37 fatalities in 2019. Now, those 37 deaths put them at 44.3 fatalities for every 100,000 full-time workers. And the most common fatality? Transportation incident. Number four, roofers. Yeah, this one's a no-brainer. People on roofs tend to get killed or injured pretty bad. It's not a giant industry as far as full-time employees go, but they get a good amount of deaths. It's not the number one, but I'm sure a lot of these dudes get some skin cancer later on in life. Some comedian one time was talking about how Oprah, they said being a mom is the hardest job in the world. He said, no, it's actually being a redhead roofer in Arizona. I think it was Bill Burr, but anyway, hysterical. But regardless, red hair Arizona or not, it, roofing's a rough business to be in. And in 2019, they lost 96. That gives them 51.5 for every 100,000 full-time workers. And they had over 2,000 non-fatal injuries. Number three, aircraft pilots and flight engineers. When I first read this, I thought it was wrong. I thought to myself, airliners don't go down that often. How is this happening? As I read, I realized it's not just airliners. It's like helicopter pilots, crop dusting pilots, bush pilots in Alaska, sightseeing aircraft, people on brooms like my cousin's ex-wife. <laughs> things like that. And in 2019, they lost 70, putting them about 58.9 for every 100,000 full-time workers. The most common cause for these fatalities, hitting the ground at elevated speeds. Number two, fishing related workers. We've all seen deadliest catch and it's not so exciting and not so dangerous. Lobster men. Yeah, they are considered fishermen too. Crabbers, lobster men, whatever you want to call them. They all fall under the category of fishing related workers and they die a lot. The term deadliest catch didn't come out of nowhere. That is a very dangerous industry, especially up there in Alaska. The lobster men, not so dangerous. I mean, they're only dangerous missing happy hour if they come in late. In 2019, there were 30 fishing fatalities. It's actually 77.4 for every 100,000 full-time workers. This one's a little different. It's not transportation. Well, I guess it kind of is, but they list drowning and contact with objects. I guess that's getting crushed by a crab pot or something. All right, before we get to number one, as promised, I was going to tell you about some industries that a lot of people assume are the most dangerous, but they're really not. Not saying it's not dangerous at all. It's just not the most dangerous. Normally that has to do with they have so many people working in that industry. The first one is law enforcement. I did a poll on the community tab of the channel and within three hours, we had about 4,000 votes and 46% thought law enforcement was the deadliest out of the ones I had here. Fishing, fire rescue, construction, timber. No, it definitely isn't. Don't get me wrong. I know it's an extremely dangerous job. They just don't have as many fatalities as other industries. And I think really with law enforcement and military, the biggest danger is your mental health. You can only see so much before it really starts to affect your well-being. According to the FBI, in 2019, there were 48 felonious deaths that occurred in 19 states and Puerto Rico. 45 were male, three were female. 15 died as a result of investigation or law enforcement activity. Six were conducting traffic stops. Four were performing investigation activities. Two were drug related matters. Two were interacting with a wanted person. One was investigating a suspicious person and nine were involved in tactical situations. Five were unprovoked attacks. Four were responding to robberies and two passed away because of a vehicular pursuit. Seeing that law enforcement has 700,000 nationwide full-time employees, that puts them about 6.8 for every 100,000 residents. Firefighters were a little bit worse. They didn't make the list either. They would have fallen around number 15 with 12.6 for every 100,000 full-time workers. Both very dangerous jobs, just not in the stat we're looking at with this list. All right, on to number one. And number one, 
logging industry. You know, I knew this one was dangerous, but I thought as the years went on, it wouldn't have been as dangerous now. I mean, every time I see something on the Discovery Channel or something like that, they, it's very automated. They have these machines that do most of the work, and I thought that was a little more widespread that I learned isn't. They do have those machines. They're just still using dudes with chainsaws like they always have, and that leads to a lot of fatalities. Among the biggest risks for loggers is being hit by falling objects while they're bringing down trees or having accidents while operating the equipment that allows them to take down trees. In 2019, they had 74 fatal injuries. That gives them about 97.6 for every 100,000 full-time workers. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. I know, a little different for this one, but I thought this was a very interesting subject. All right, everyone, have a great day. Be nice to each other.